What's up guys and gals and welcome back to the Nerd Castle for a first look at Sexy Brutal. My name is Splattercat, happy to have you here today as we hang out for a little bit and go to a masquerade party. It's kind of like Kindergarten meets Groundhog's Day. You'll probably see Kindergarten like the same day or the next day after this goes up. But basically you relive the same day over and over again trying to figure out who's committing murders inside of a masquerade party. Uh, it's very similar to Kindergarten in that regard where you kind of relive the same actions and try to move things around to figure out what's going to change. So, let's get started here, and see what happens. Oh yeah, save game one's fine, let's go get after this thing and see how it goes down. I like the little roulette table loading screens, that's pretty sweet. Helps build the, I don't know, the theme of the game, the feel of it. The Marquis is the enigmatic owner and creator of the Sexy Brutal Casino Mansion. Every year he throws an extravagant mass ball for a select party of guests. His impeccably trained staff cater to their every desire, but this year, something is terribly wrong. The guests aren't getting what they want at all. But you can find out for yourself, Lafcadio Boon. After all, you have all the time in the world. It does sound sexy. There's saxophone. Anytime there's saxophone... It's sexy phone. Anytime there's saxophone, you know that shit's getting wild. Dude, that chair has an M inscribed in it. That is what's up. I wish I had an inscribed chair. Like, if my chair had my name inscribed on the back of it, oh, it's a naked lady. Time to move on, old man. Looks like she'd been ripped in half or something. She's got, like, gut hair. Weird. Never take your mask off. It'll give you a chance. Just a chance. You're not weak, and I'll help you. But he, he's so, so strong. Ugh. At least it's a self-cleaning mess. That's a plus. I thought I was going to have to break out the mop for that one, so... Fair play. So we can wake up. Oh, we've got a pretty legit mass, too. That's pretty sweet. It's got like her touch on it. Okay. So I got some pretty dope shoulder pads. So we can open the door down here. Let's pop that thing open and see what's going on. We can spy through a door. Okay. It must be a... What was that? Huh. Calm down, Reggie. They won't look for you here. Probably. I like how he's got a clockwork hat. Just so he can figure out what time it is no matter where he's at. Alright, so we open the door up. We clearly saw that he did like a thing over here. I can listen with space. Huh. I can follow him through the door. Okay. So yeah, I can definitely tell this is going to be kind of a stealth sneaky game. I can spy through there. Doesn't sound like anything else is going on though, so let's jump through this door. Can I spiggity spy? Oh, he's in the safe right now. If we kill him, we can take whatever's in there. Loot. Loot, bro. Where is it? This is just garbage. Who locks garbage in a safe? Okay, so we can spy through this door, too. Lucas, what have you done? I'm terribly sorry, sir. What? No, you can't, please! You don't know what's gonna happen! Ah, now there I must correct you, sir. I know exactly what's gonna happen. Damn! That dude got blapped on, and I can't see who murdered him. What will happen is that I'm gonna shoot you messily in the chest. And then have a bastard of a time getting the stain out of the stonework. Oh, we woke up again. Dude, there's a gun over there, though. We could have a gun right now. Let's grab that guy just in case we need to pop somebody. Oh, I can hide inside of here? He is coming. Hide. Okay, I'm hiding. I'm doing the best I... Yeah, get in there faster, man. You don't need to cross yourself before you get inside of there. Oh, who is this dude? Number two. He thinks he's the shit. Let's have a look. 
Aw, oh, dude, you could have grabbed the gun first and shot him when he came in. See, this is how you mess up in Battle Royale. Eh, it's still loaded. Let's see if this works. I guess there's always plan B if it doesn't. So it wants us to follow through the door. Let's see what's going on with this gunman. Dude, that that's an elephant leg. Wow. Apparently his table is an elephant leg. That kind of stuff was acceptable back then, though. You got an elephant leg table now. You'll never live that down. There it is. No! I'm about to be shot in the face with a rifle. Why? Bang, bang. Bang, 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 bang. Well, he's holding that rifle kind of in a suspect way. I like the music. Music's real good. We should probably, like, get the shit out of here. He's probably gonna walk through the door that we're in front of. Oh shit, why is my mask on fire? Oh no, do I get superpowers? Oh, dude's on me. He's on me. Be calm. You were not seen and he's not chasing you. Look back through the door. Where the hell is seven clubs? You can bloody well come and help me with this body. I'm not lifting it on my own. He didn't see you. He's not gonna chase you. No one in the mansion will. That was my gift when I touched your mask. I will protect you, but only for a short time. The staff are murderers here, and the guests are victims. But they are all controlled and dominated by the masks that they wear. I have one more gift for you. Is it a smooches? Nope, it's a pocket watch. That's nowhere near as good as the smooches. I took it from the man you saw murdered. If you can return it to Sixpence, he will unlock his full potential. But first, you'll have to save him. I have to go. He'll find me if I stay. Alright. I'll see you later. Thanks for getting blood on my shoes. Bye. Use the pocket watch to restart the day from 12 p.m. The pocket watch is partially smashed and resets at 5 p.m. If you can find some way or someone to repair it, you gain more control over time. Okay. And so here you will see the current guest or guests you are trying to save. Alright, so we're trying to save Sixpence. That's the start of the game. Let's do this thing. I'm actually pretty excited by the prospects of what this title is offering. This is a cool little stylized game. This is legit. I like this so far. The presentation has been fairly top-notch. Alright, Saturday in the chapel. Let's have a look here. The marquee invites you to tonight's show, 7 p.m. in the theater. Well, that won't matter because... Chair is old but flawlessly crafted. A Bible is on the table nearby. Okay, the map. As you explore Sexy Brutal, your map will be built up with the rooms that you have discovered. The movement of characters you have seen will be added to the map, and you can adjust the time shown on the map by using the time scrubber. Okay. The chair is old but flawlessly crafted, and Bible is on the table nearby. Yeah, I was gonna say, I hope that clock ticking goes away. That shit's annoying as hell. I don't like that at all. Oh wow, we really don't have that much time. Okay. So let's go through the door. We're going to just try and scout for right now. And if something goes wrong, something goes wrong. There's ledgers filled with running costs for the casino. And they are covered in dust. Okay, what's up with the safe? The safe is locked. It looks bomb-proof. Okay, so he comes in here at that point. I'm willing to bet we have to steal the rifle first so that he has no way to do it. And then we shoot the guy with the rifle once he tries to kill the other guy. If I listen, he's in there right now at 1 o'clock, so time advances fairly slowly. Let's go in through this door right here. Okay, so we're in the chapel. That means that this room right here is the one that has the gun in it, right? Or at least it's somewhat nearby. Let's spy real fast to make sure there's nobody in here. So the gun is still inside the room. Oh, he's in there getting the gun right now. Okay, so go out that way. Okay, so I gotta get the rifle much faster. Oh, he's noticing the rifle right now for the first time. Okay, so if he goes in there, we'll go in now. I'm gonna try and steal it. So can I break the rifle off the wall? There is no reaction with the pocket watch. A hunting rifle firmly secured to the wall. The loading chamber is open, but it may have bullets inside. So I can't pry it off the wall. What does he do first? Like, what does he do before he comes in here? Do we have any footsteps? No. So this is that hallway. The mask burns as I approach the door as though it's pushing me away. Okay, so we can't go there yet. I'm thinking we're like in the tutorial right now. Which means that 
as we go forward, we're going to get access to more areas of the house. So we've got our map. What's up with our map right now? So we've got this little room. He says that'll work much better. What's his name is probably trying to loot the safe right now. So what if I try to save him this way by just talking to him right now? Can I do that? Or does that disrupt the flow of things? It looks like it disrupts the flow of things, so I'm not allowed to be any out like around anybody at all. Oh. A blank cartridge. Okay, so what's up with the blank cartridge? What does that do? Blank bullets make a loud noise, but no actual round will be fired. A person might use these to hunt friends without actually harming any animals. Oh shit, we can put this inside the uh we'll put this inside the rifle. We gotta do it quickly. Is he in there? Where is he at? Oh, he already got the gun! Shit! He's gonna shoot him! Oh, it's already over. Okay, so he blapped him. So we hit F1. Let's restart the day. We've got this, though. We gotta figure out where the bullet was at. Do I keep the bullet, or do I lose that to time? Okay, I lose that to time. Gotcha. Alright, so let's have a look, because our map stays filled out. So we hit that, and the map stays filled out. This was the room where the shell casing was at, I think. No, that's the room with the safe. So we've got to do this fairly well, because the shell casing was not here before on the floor. So who drops the shell casing is the question. Like the blank round, who does that? So we've got that room right there. We've got what looks like another room right here. There's what's-his-name. We don't want to mess around in here. Not yet, anyways. So that door right there brings us full circle. A girl holding what is possibly a weasel. I thought she was nursing the weasel. So, you know, you end up with, like, weasel booby. A weasel titty. That's not a good look. It's not a good look at all. So I wonder how we get the shell casing. Because there's nothing in here right now. Does he drop it on the floor? Let's watch for a second and see what's going on. Because somebody drops the shell on the floor. And so maybe it's after he opens it, we grab the shell, we take it over to the gun, we put in the blank, and then it fires. And that means we save his life so that he can fix our watch a little bit. Yeah, there it goes right there. Okay, so let's loop around. No, don't do that. That's the worst plan. That's the plan that I don't accept. Don't do that one at all. Let's spy through here. And once he's out of the room... Okay, so he's out of the room. We'll go in here, we'll grab the shell... We're still pretty early on in the day, so we should be alright. I'm gonna go this way to the room that has the gun inside of it. Check it. Okay, so he just walked through. That means that we actually timed this perfectly. So let's go put the round in here. The blank cartridge slides in easily. The blank will be the next shot. Alright, cool. So that should be how we save his life now. Ah, it automatically takes you there. I thought I had to wait and witness it. Come on. Apparently, there's some kind of overarching story, because people seem to know stuff about what's happening that I don't know. What the hell? What's wrong with this blasted thing? A blank alpha... There better be a second round in here. Otherwise, it'll be plan B for you, I'm afraid. Ah, that's got it. Here we go. You coward! We hit him with a candlestick, hell yeah! In the chapel with the candlestick. Ah, golden duck! Cracking job! This feels very different. Why am I wearing this mask still? Oh. Dude, I love the soundtrack. This soundtrack is absolutely fantastic and really helps sell the game for what it is. So much better. Ah, good lord, Lafcadio. Hello. Where are we? Do you know? 
Wait, is that my broken pocket watch? I have the strangest feeling I've been looking all over for this. I've done quite a number on it. It's pretty well animated, too, if you look at the facial expressions and whatnot. There. That should see you, right? All fixed. Now I think I should get back to the party. Ah, now we can save our game and set the clock as your starting point. Oh, okay. The watch repaired, the full day is now open to you. And I guess I've got to focus on rescuing each person from whatever their, like, horrible fate is. Someone's been having a sly tipple on the job. Good show, sleep it off, that man. So we save six pants. And so that actually becomes a colored portrait now. And so now we got to figure out who the next person is that we got to bring back from the edge of death. Take his mask. You'll need its power. Okay. So maybe I can do different stuff by wearing different masks? Oh, it just absorbs it flat out. Okay. Reginald's Clock Mastery. With Sixpence Mask, you can now create a bond with the clocks around the house. You can use any clock in the mansion to jump between 4 p.m. or 8 p.m. Okay. You saved Reginald's life. He was the personal clockmaker to the owner of the mansion, the Marquis. Well, he was more than that, but the important thing is that the clocks in the mansion are tuned to him. Now you have his mask, his power, they will respond to you. You have to go, and quickly. Even now, the mansion is straining to undo what you've done, but you can fight back, saving one life at a time. The day will start again, and I pray that Sixpence's power will free you from these rooms. If you are lost, find me in the casino. I'll look for you by the clock. There are so many more guests here who need your help. Kind of a cool concept for a game. I like it. It's a, it's a really cool, I mean, it's the exact same concept that they came up with for Kindergarten as well. Both games are kind of barking up that same tree, just with a different theme and a different setting. Where there's like a right way to do things and a wrong way to do things, and you're actively trying to change the course of like a Groundhog Day. And that's a cool idea. That's a really cool idea. Marquis invites you to tonight's show, 7 p.m. in the theater. You know, it's days like this, I wish I were less competent. Then maybe I wouldn't get the tricky jobs. Heh. <laughs> Very nice. This game is actually doing really well at almost like a cinema... It's almost like a... A cinema experience, almost. Like, it sets everything up and there's like a feeling and there's like an ambiance and there's a tenor to the game that makes it feel interesting. What's up with the slot machine? What does it do? Okay. So I don't know what I'm attempting to do now. If I save someone, do they stay saved? What is this? The Nine of Clubs. Okay, so apparently there are cards hidden around. I can't go inside of there yet because it's got the fire on the door. Yeah, so I can't go through there yet. We've got to unlock like one thing at a time. Alright, well let's hobble on back and we'll have a look and see what's going on. It kind of reminds me of games that they would have played around with. It kind of reminds me of a Sierra game from back in the 90s. This seems like the sort of title that they would fiddle, like, fiddle around with. So that's the casino. For now I'm just going to walk around because I feel like we've pretty much got cover. We don't know what the door is locked and I can't open it. Okay. So we're going to need a key to get into there. We need to find who our next victim is though. It looks like it's about 2 o'clock in the afternoon. I suppose I'll go take a look. The sign above the door welcomes the guest to the sexy brutal. Sure, why not? Let's go inside the casino and see what's around. Boon, oh thank god. Wasn't sure, I didn't know if you'd be able to leave the chapel. But you can, and we have a chance. This is the casino, the front and center of the sexy brutal. The guests here are Trinity and Clay. There are more, but you can't reach them yet. You have time to watch and learn, and you gotta save them both together. You saved Reginald, and his mask has given you the power over his clocks. They've all stopped, but if you can wind them, they will be very useful to you. I found a key for this area. That's all that I can do for now. Alright, so we've got winding keys for the clocks in this area. Cool. So we'll use the winding key. I'll find you when I can, Boone. Save Clay and save Trinity. So my guess is that there's going to be some areas you can't get to in time, but using the winding clocks, you can teleport around at a specific time where you need to be somewhere. So this looks like he's got a luchador mask, and then she's got herself a butterfly mask. 
You gotta figure out how to save them first. Oh, they're actually a couple. Okay, that makes sense. We can make this happen. Let's go ahead and wind this thing up with the Z key. I'm not gonna wind it right this second. But there we go, that thing's all ready to work. We'll play around with this mechanic in just a minute once we actually observe the things we need to observe. So this is a CCTV camera, but you don't know the key code. Okay. So I could turn off cameras as well. So I assume at some point the enemies are going to start predicting what you're trying to do and, like, catching on. The Jack of Spades. Let's just clear out the map for the moment. That's the only part that matters to me. The Grand Lobby and Ballroom. There's another card laying on the floor right there. I don't know if I can go outside to the veranda or whatever that is right there, the gardens, but I'll give it a try. Stained glass window filters. Okay, so at some point I'm going to have to break that with a rock. I can tell already that at some point it's going to be vital that you break that in order to save somebody's life or something. This is the library. Okay. This looks like yet another room with a slot machine. What does the slot machine do? Hearts. Okay. I don't know if that's a good thing. There's the gunshot. Do I still have to save, like, is that a, let's say, inside the cabinet is a single piece of parchment. The plaque underneath states that this is one of 12 missing pages from the Codex Gigas. Okay. The Codex Gigas Yawigas. Ooh, somebody's gone out at, what is this, around 4 o'clock? Somebody's gone out the stained glass window? So who is it that's wound up dead here? Let's take a look. There's no one in there, so let's pass through. Oh, the window is not broken. I heard glass break, and I assumed it would be this window over here. Taking a look at our map, then. We don't know exactly where our victims are going to be at, but we know they're going to be inside the casino, so maybe we'll stick with that for right now. Just kind of stay on task as far as this is concerned. All right, so let's have a look. Something very cold and solid is blocking my way. So I guess I can't go inside of there. Can I turn this off? There we go, the sepia vinyl record. Check your inventory for details. I still can't go through though. Okay, that's fine. I was wondering if the music was what was doing it. The what's your poison bar? Nothing's my poison for now. Is anybody inside of here doing a thing? All right. Let's have a look inside of here. See what we can witness. Looks like we're going to have to collate and like collect some key codes in order to make this all work. For now, it's fine. Nothing going on inside of there. Ladies and gentlemen, the show will start in one hour. Oh, there's somebody in here. Okay. We'll go ahead and move this way then. We'll wait and see what he's doing. He's going to pass through that way. We will follow him. We will listen. It's lucky everybody in here has such big, stompy, clompy boots. So he's passing through to there. We will also pass through to here just to keep an eye on him. So there's ready when you are. Your move. Danger lurks. So I can't go into any of the rooms where... Come on, let's do this. I'm gonna watch and see how he dies first. I like how they're... This is a really stylized game, like legitimately it is. They did a great job just cultivating like what the world feels like. Like it feels dangerous. It feels like you're in kind of like a 1915 thriller trying to figure out what's going on. So nothing's happened to him yet. It might be wise to follow this dude around and see what's going on with him. I hope Trinity's okay. She does love to wander. So this is actually like an observation room. What does this do for me? The camera fiend is now being shown on the main casino screen. Okay. Welcome gamblers. What's this note over here? It's a key code for the CCTV panels. Cool. 
A small seating area looks out under the casino with a one-way mirror. One-way mirror looks... Okay. So we've actually got the keys to the CCTV feed now. We haven't seen where this dude is going. Statue wears a mask. The detailing is beyond exquisite, and a tiny moth is carved inside. And this was the show floor right here. Alright, so what's going on? We're right there. Something appears to be happening in the main room right there. So let's go have a look. Uh, the music's playing, so somebody's fitting to die right now. These are drinks on the table as if they've been left there only moments ago. Is this the room we were looking at, though? Which room am I trying to get into? So key code is correct. CCTV isn't in this room, but it'll be turned on now. Hey, that screen, that looks like, uh... Trinity? Trin! What the hell, Trinity? She's being eaten by a spider. Where is she? I'm coming. A terrible run of luck, sir. So apparently turning on that camera was what I needed to do for right now. Oh. Oh god, easy now. Whoa, 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 I've got you. Clay. Clay, thank god. Let's get you up. Wow, I didn't even know she's being eaten by a spider. I totally lucked into the solution there. Oh, there's another dead person on the floor right there, which is a concern. Did he just pick up a knife? Oh, Clay, I have to get this mask off. I wonder what powers I get. I don't know what happened, but what a fright. Boone? What are you doing here? Man, what a nightmare. Was it you that turned on that camera? If you hadn't, I don't know what, uh... Thank you. So much. Thank you. Let's get out of here, Trin. But you could use a drink after that. Man, I could use a drink. You know me so well. Round of blackjack, loser does shots. Sounds like a plan with no possible downside. After you. Apparently I saved him. Holy shit, dude. I didn't even know that I was like that close. I thought I was gonna have to do a lot more reconnaissance. Figure out like a much more complicated, um, I guess, sequence. You found the way to protect them, Boone. Clay is an unstoppable force once roused, he and his brother both. But it's Trinity who's special. Take her mask, it's her gift to you. Cool. Although I would have rather had the luchador mask. Nacho! So what does that let me do? Trinity's mask allows you to hear the smallest sounds. While spying and hiding, you listen to whispered conversations or other private noises by using the power when the prompt appears. Additionally, you can hear more when you listen out in your surroundings. Oh, cool. She has exceptional hearing. Her blessing is now yours. With that mask, you'll be able to find a way through the guest rooms. There is a girl who is fighting so hard against the darkness of this place. She needs your help, Boone. Nice. So that's going to take us back, and it looks like we're trying to rescue a new person. We lost our record, but that was the only item we had picked up so far. This game is called The Sexy Brutal. Hope you guys have been liking it so far. I'll see you all next time. If you want more episodes, you know what to do. Leave me those comments and leave me those likes, and let me know what's going on, okay? If you want to get the game, i got a link for you down below. If you like what I do here on the channel, check out the Patreon. It's what enables me to every single day show off new indie games for you to consume. Bye, everybody.